switch capacitor DC to DC converter is very much similar to the concept of the voltage doubler, voltage tripler, and voltage quadruple circuits that we have earlier studied in the first course of electronics devices and circuits. Here we have the advantage that we do not have the inductance in it, and therefore the uh, the overall system is inductorless, which means that the system has uh, has less weight, and we have consequently we have less size. But because we have this switch capacitors available, and therefore we charge the capacitor uh, during uh, for some interval and then connect them uh, to the output in specific needs so such that the output voltage is greater than or less than the input voltage. Switched capacitor DC to DC circuits or DC to DC converters, they are also known as the charge pumps, right? And they are mostly used for small current applications uh, where we have the current less than less than 100 milliampere. They are considered ideal for uh, using in those applications where the output current is less than 100 milliampere. They are also used in, uh, in, in positive and negative logic levels for generating the positive and negative voltage levels in, in your flash drives known as the USBs or the RS232 interface. Then we have the LEDs and the LED display. They are, uh, they are quite used there because the current requirement is not much high. For, for this particular application. So let us say what is the basic theme of a switch capacitor uh, converter. So the basic idea is let's suppose we have we have a capacitor which is connected with this voltage source Vs, right? So if we connect a capacitor with this voltage source Vs such that we have this, let us say this is uh, terminal number A and this is terminal number B. Then of course, after some time, uh, after a very short time, this voltage Vc becomes equal to equal to Vs, right? Now, if we somehow reconfigure the circuit such that we have this Vs and we connect it with this B point here, then we have the capacitor, then we have this point number A. Since this capacitor is now charged with this side negative and this side positive, and this is also equal to Vs. Then at the output, the total voltage V0 is a sum of the capacitor voltage Vc, Vs plus Vc, that is equal to 2 times Vs. So a reconfiguration strategy is adopted during the charging and the discharging phases of this particular uh, circuit. So based on uh, the switching schemes and the switching strategy, we can actually connect a capacitor in different configurations such that the output voltage can be greater than the input voltage or the output voltage can be less than the input voltage. So let us uh, move through a very simple sort of a circuit, this particular circuit and let us see how we can have a switching network where we can charge a capacitor uh, in this particular topology which is which is this uh, which I am writing it here and then we discharge this capacitor with a different configuration technique such that this negative side is connected with the positive of this Vs uh, to get the output voltage two times the input voltage. Let us say we have we have this equal to Vs and we have a switch here and here we have this capacitor. So we have another switch here which is connected here. And here we have the here we have the switch here uh, as well. Here we have the output voltage V naught. Now this is capacitor C. Let us say that we have we have this switch one, and we have this switch also termed as one. This is switch two, and this is switch two. So during for the for the charging time, for the charging time, one is closed. So we have in equivalent circuit where we have this Vs, this one is closed. So it will generate a plus here and a negative here. And here we have this uh, capacitor charged at a voltage equal to the input voltage Vs. This switch is open. So therefore, this uh, will not affect the, uh, the operation here. This switch 2 is also closed here. So the voltage V0 is equal to 0 here. 
but because we require to have the load connected and we need to supply the load with some voltage therefore it is assumed that we have it is assumed that we have an output capacitor v naught available here and whatever is the previous voltage of this v naught it will supply to to this load uh, resistance r again the amount of the capacitor voltage at the output depends highly on the on the time constant tau for this first order circuit that is forming at the output but the point here is that using this particular strategy the current flows through this capacitor in this in this uh, in this uh, direction and therefore consequently we have a plus sign formed here and a negative sign formed here so during the discharging mod during the discharging mod switch 2 switch 2 is closed such that we have we have this type of a circuit here we have negative plus this is again vs here we have the capacitor v naught and this resistance r so the net voltage which is available here is now two times vs since this switch is open so it is not hampering the performance also we have this switch open so switch number one is not hampering uh, any or posing any kind of difficulty in uh, achieving the uh, required output which is twice the input voltage vs now the point here is that how we can switch, realize these switches here so for the switch real, realization for the switch real, realization let us first of all see what kind of switches we require to have in here so let us say this is 1a and this is 1b and this is 2a and this is 2b uh, so that we can identify them independently so for this first particular circuit when this switch let us say this is for 1a this is for 1b this is for 2b sorry 2a and this is for switch 2b so when we have the when we have this switch 1a connected with this vs such that we are operating it then the current is entering here so i will say that for this particular switch this is plus and this is negative and since the current is only flowing into the positive terminal therefore 1a is a switch where we require to have a forward or the positive current flowing capability similarly for this switch 1b because the current is entering here so let me say this is plus and this is negative and the current is entering this positive terminal so we require to have a current where we have the forward current uh, capability so for 1b we also require to have a forward current when we have this particular switch when the switch position number two is obtained and one is closed then we have again this is plus and this is negative current enter the positive side so for 2a we also require to have a forward current i and as well as uh, on on this particular side because we have here we have the the switch closed so so let me let me redraw it with some clarity here uh, just a minute okay so this is plus this is here uh, so okay so this is plus and this is negative and the current is entering here so 2b this is 2b this is 2a uh, they also it requires a forward current what about the voltage here now you see when we have the switches 2 when we have this switch 2 in an on state then one has to block the voltage what is the voltage blocking requirement for this switch 1 so switch number 1 we have this plus this negative so when we have closed this particular switch then at this switch 1 we have let us say this is a and this is b uh, okay let us say this is p and this is n then v v1a is equal to vpn that is equal to v plus is connected with this vs and v negative is now connected with the with the 2vs right because it is connected and therefore the output voltage is twice the input voltage so minus 2 vs so that gives me minus vs so for switch 1a i require to have i require to have a have a diode here so the negative voltage region again this indicates that switch number 1a i require to have a diode here what about the switch 1b 
with this switch 1b this is positive and this is negative again let me say this is p and this is n so v 1b that is equal to vpn is equal to vp minus vn and when we have this switch to closed then this particular point is connected with vs and this vn is already grounded so i require to have a switch that is able to block the positive voltage and for this type of the ib characteristics one choice is to use the bjt i can use a mosfet or i can use an igbt because all of them uh, are able to operate in this particular connection uh, region regarding the switch to a uh, for the switch to a we have earlier identified what is the voltage blocking capability what is the current requirement for these both of these two switches let us say we have this one plus and this side negative so when we have this one a connected here and one b they are all you know synchronously they are working then v to a is equal to vp minus vn so with this side plus and this side negative vp minus vn this plus side is connected with this vs and this negative side when we have this switch 2a sorry when this switch 2a is off then this 1b is on therefore this negative side is grounded so this is minus 0 so we require to have a switch in this position 2a able that should block the positive voltage so this 2a can also be replaced by a bjt or a mos ft or an igbt about this switch position to b when we have let us say this is plus and this is negative and this is p this is n so v to b is equal to vp minus vn so when we have this side connected with the uh, with the input then we have vp equals to vp equals to vs and on the output side we have this v naught which is equal to 2 times vs again we require to have a device which operates uh, for blocking the negative voltage and therefore the switch number s2 can only be replaced by by a diode and therefore uh, if i now replace these uh, four switches uh, in place of uh, uh, if if i replace this particular you know uh, switches here then we have the actual circuit looks like uh, look like this that we have this this is plus minus vs again here this is switch 1a which is a diode right and switch 1 uh, 2 2a is is actually a bjt we have switch 1b here which is again again a switch here we have the capacitor and here we have we have this diode and this is the output capacitor c naught and this is the load resistance r so this is let us this is q2 this is q1 this is d1 and this is this is d2 so this is the complete schematic of a switched capacitor dc to dc converter where the output voltage v naught is equal to two times the input voltage vs using the similar concept we can actually develop voltage uh, dc to dc switch capacitor converters where the where the output voltage is thrice the input voltage for that the circuit i will not draw the uh, the switch realization circuit rather i will only draw uh, the simple circuit so we have this switch number 2 we have the switch number 1 we have one capacitor here and here we have another capacitor this is switch number 1 here we have also we have switch number one and we have here we have this switch number two this is another capacitor here so here we have this switch number one again we have the switch number two here this is the capacitor and here we have the uh, we have the output voltage v naught in this particular case because there are now two capacitors connected in series uh, with this vs therefore the output voltage is thrice the input voltage vs right so it it would have been it would be a very good exercise if you try to realize these switches one and two using the uh, using the terminal using the technique that i have uh, i earlier, earlier explained and that will certainly help you in getting uh, you know good concepts in switch realization process uh, the, this particular converter is a voltage doubler converter and this the the, the this particular circuit is a voltage tripler converter is it possible to have an output voltage where the output voltage is less than the input voltage 
but still it is uh, uh, using this particular uh, switched capacitor technique so let us see let us let us see a step down step down switched capacitor dc to dc converter right the main idea here is quite simple that we have that we have this voltage vs and we connect two capacitors in series as a result we have half of the voltage available on each of these two capacitors therefore in the next this is during the charging state during the discharging mode we disconnect the voltage source such that and connect these two in in parallel so if i connect them in parallel then the output voltage v naught becomes equal to half of the vs because half of the input voltage or the supply voltage is now stored on these capacitors uh, c1 and this capacitor c2 so let us see uh, one scheme how we can uh, we can reconfigure it during this during this discharging discharging mode so for this we have we have a switch here let us say we have a capacitor here here we have this bjt here we have another switch here so we have we have this type of this type of the network right this is plus one is v naught so we have the this is one this is one this is two this is two so let us say how let us see how we we get the uh, the voltage here when we turn on the switch one if i turn on the switch one so one is on now so we have we have this type of the network right this two is off so nothing will happen through these two switches two and here we have half of vs will appear across this c1 and half of this vs appears across this capacitor c2 so the output voltage is already equal to equal to half of the uh, half of the vs when we turn on the switch number two at this switch number two we have because this one is on so this supply is completely disconnected so we have this capacitor connected something like this one again this switch is on so it will not have any impact here so this is the output voltage v naught so we have the v naught equals to half of the uh, half of the supply voltage v s now to, if you want to realize this uh, these particular switches using the same expression then you come out to uh, to to see that this one is actually a bjt right this two is also a bjt and here we require to have the diodes for uh, for 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 realizing this particular operation so these that kind of uh, you know switched capacitor networks are very famous for only those applications where the current requirement is quite low uh, but certainly you know this is a dimension that should be covered for understanding the complete uh, you know uh, complete scope of the dc to dc converters in the next class we shall see how we can simulate the dc to dc converters using the switched model and the average model uh, i would also like to shift on to the uh, to the isolated converters concept where we have a transformer isolation provided between the input and the output uh, that way there are there is a possibility to to get an output with multiple uh, you know voltage levels uh, so that will be covered in the later class i thank you all for attending this particular lecture take care and allah hafiz